Me here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial I'll be teaching you how to read files or load files into your application. Now these are the three files I'll be showing you how to load in this tutorial. One of them is a PPT or a PowerPoint here with two slides. The next one is just a PDF like so and a the next one is just a random spreadsheet that I found about the uh, the World Cup um, football that I found on my computer so yeah that's an XLS. Um, now first things first before you create your files make sure they don't contain any spaces in their names if you have any space in your name replace it with a hyphen if you want to keep the space or just delete the space altogether because this won't work if you have spaces in your name. Now the reason this won't work is because we're actually going to be using a UI web view to load these things. We're not going to be using some weird parser technique or whatever to load them. We're actually just going to use a UI web view to just display them as what they are in the app. And this requires no extra coding. All we need to do is just convert the file path into a URL. And that's why these can't contain spaces because as you know, all URLs or you know like when you type in your web browser, they don't have any spaces in them. So if you have a space in this, then it would just won't work. So to speed this tutorial up, I have made a uh, example one here for a PDF, and then the other one down there is just an example of all three of them together. So I will go through this with you. So first off, we create a IB outlet for the web view because, uh, as I said, we'll be using a web view to load these these files. Then I create a URL and that URL is going to hold the path for our um, for our test PDF here that I have in my application. Okay so once we've created both of them we then go into the .m. Now you can put this code any way you like like when the user says load PDF as a button you can put it there. For me I've just decided to put it in the view did load so it all loads straight away. Then I create a ns string called file path and this holds the the path of our object or the path of the file we want to load. So it goes into the main bundle here. The main bundle guys is literally just this. If you go over here anything in this blue file here in all these folders is called the main bundle. So then it will go into the main bundle it will look for the resource test PDF. Now I put that in there manually. You can always have some sort of code like I'll show you in my next example um, to decide which path you're actually going to grab. Like say if it's a UI table view, if you've been watching my table view series you can have a dictionary full of different names and depending on which cell they click on it changes which path is loaded and I'll be showing you that in a minute. And of type is going to be PDF because this is a dot PDF. Don't include the dot here because you don't need it, it's just going to be PDF. If you're loading uh, a spreadsheet, it's going to be XLS or PowerPoint PPT. Next, we tell our URL um, to load the file path, to grab the file path and now actually turn it into a URL. So we do that by calling the nsurl file URL with path uh, method or parameter or whatever. Um, so URL equals nsurl file URL with path and then we put in our file path as the parameter. Now this basically tells the URL to become a URL that holds a path for a file. Then we tell the web view to load our URL. Simple as that. Then in my interface builder I literally just dragged out a URL web view and connected it and that's it. Now I'm going to build and run here but before I build and run, I just want to give a warning. If any of you are using 4.1, Xcode 4.1 or below, it won't load on the simulator. The PDF or the XLS or the PowerPoint will not load on the simulator because Apple didn't add that feature in. However, if you build it on your device, it will work. You will see your PDF if you did it right. Um, however, if you're built, running 4.2, as I am, it will load on the simulator, the simulator which is a good thing um, because they added that in. So here you go, I've just clicked build and run and we have our PDF loaded. 
And what I think is really nice about it is we get all the functionality of the UI web view. We get the scrolling, we get the auto resizing. We even get these little page things at the top to let us know which page we're on. So we didn't need to do much coding for that. and We automatically get that for free. So that's how you load a file separately onto your device. So you can stop watching here now if that's all the code you need. However, if you want to see how you can use it a bit more advanced, just wait until I load this other one up here, this other example, and I'll show you how you can do it a bit more advanced. Now in this, in this uh, example, I use a UI table view. And in this table view, I have a bunch of dictionaries. And in these dictionaries, I hold the name for the view. I hold the name of the file and I have a, I hold the type of that file. Then for those keys, I have the key for file and I have the key type. Again, I have another object here called XLS and that's holding my XLS file and my XLS type and another one from PowerPoints. Then in my did select row index path, I tell the file path, much like the one you saw just, um, to load instead of at quotes and then the file name, I tell it to look into the dictionary for that file name. And of type, I do the same thing. Then I set that to equal the file path of my detail view controller. And going into my detail view controller, I have a file URL here that I've set. And in here, I tell the file URL to equal the file path that was set, which was the detail item. Look, if we go back here, you can see I've set the detail item to equal file path. Then in the dot M here, I say file URL equals the detail item. Then I load the web view, like so. So if we build and run, you'll see how this looks slightly better, I think. Um, so PDF here, you see it will load a PDF. And we get these nice two things here. XLS here, you can see we can load XLS or spreadsheet. And I can zoom in here, again, using all the web views capabilities. I can select sheets like so. And I can, you know, copy and paste stuff if I wanted. So again, we're getting all the functionality of the web view. The web view automatically changes its UI to fit the spreadsheet. And if we go out here to PowerPoint, you can see I now have a nice PowerPoint with the two slides on it. So there you go, guys. That's how you load a um, load an application. No, um, that's how you load a file or multiple files into your application. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was useful for some of you because most people have been asking me how to do it. So that's how you do it. Um, all code will be in the description. Don't forget to ask me if you have any questions about it or it's not working and I'll try and help you as best I can. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at FailCakeApps because I'll be posting all the latest news on there. Uh, like why I haven't been doing tutorials recently and stuff like that. And um, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos because that also helps. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.